In this next video, we're going to take a look and see how to calculate the density of an ionic structure like this. So here we, again, we're dealing with sodium chloride and um, the way to figure that out, of course, is to determine how many of the ions are inside the unit cell and then also knowing the dimension of the unit cell. So to find the density, we need to know the mass divided by the volume and the mass is going to be the mass of the ions in the unit cell. So this is equal to the mass of the ions per volume of the unit cell. Of course, the volume of the unit cell is the side Q. So we have to determine the side. In this case, we already know that the side of this unit cube is 564 picometers, which is basically the sum of the radii of the two chlorine ions and plus the diameter of the sodium ion. Now, if we go and look in the book and we find the, di the radii of the uh, chlorine ions and we find the radius of the uh, sodium ion and we add all that up together, we don't quite get 564 picometers because uh, the, uh, the repulsive forces between the chlorine ions are overpowering the attractive forces with the sodium ions just a little bit because the chlorine ions are a little bit bigger. They, attract it, they repel each other a little bit more. It pushes the ions out just a little bit more than you would expect in the normal average bonding between sodium ions and chlorine ions. But nevertheless, we've been able to determine that, and so we use that then in our calculation for the volume of the unit cell. Now we need to, have to, now we need to find out what the mass is for the ions, and it turns out that we have four chlorine ions and we have four sodium ions. So that means that we have to then say this is equal to four times the mass of a chlorine ion plus four times the mass of a sodium ion. And we divide that then by the volume, A cube. So what is the mass of a chlorine ion? Hmm, have to remember what that is. All right, so it's four times, uh, chlorine ion is 35.45 AMUs, that's atomic mass units per chlorine ion, plus uh, four times, and we'll just round it off to 23 uh, AMUs for sodium ion, divided by and of course that would then be 564 times 10 to the minus 12 meters. We have to cube that. Of course, on the bottom we have meters, that's standard units. At the top we have AMUs, atomic mass units, which will then have to be converted to kilograms to be in the same unit. So we have to multiply that times the conversion from AMUs to uh, grams. One gram is 6.02 times 10 to the 23 AMUs. That's of course, Avogadro's number, that's the conversion between AMUs and grams. And then we have to convert from grams to kilograms. So one kilogram is the same as a thousand grams. Okay, so we take this and multiply by those two conversions. So we have kilograms per cubic meters, which we can then convert to grams per cubic centimeter. All right, with our calculator, let's see what that's equal to. 35.45 times four plus 23 times four. Divide that by 564e to the 12th minus cubed. And then we multiply, multiply that or divide, divide by 6.02e to the 23, and then divide by 1,000 equals, that leaves us with 2,165 kilograms per cubic meter. So 2,165 kilograms per cubic meter. And that would then be equal to, if we then divide that by 1,000, that was 2.165 grams per cubic centimeter. And that's spot on. That is just about the exact density of sodium chloride. So knowing the exact size of the unit cell, and of course knowing exactly how many of each ions are in that unit cell, four of each, chlorine and sodium, we can figure out the exact density of that particular uh, structure. So that's uh, pretty neat. That's pretty interesting. And that's how you do that.